Hi guys, welcome to another YouTube video here. Today I'm gonna cover um, a project that I've been working on, and this project is gonna save me a lot of time going to year 2022. And I would like to share this with you and see how I I did it as I continue to grow and move forward and get busier. I have to find ways to try to save time and be more efficient. And this project was one of the things I decided to do for next year, going to next year to save some time. Today I want to share with you guys um, what I've been working on. Um, it's a, it was a pretty huge project. It took me a couple days um, to work on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you here. This is the old spreadsheet I was using. As you can see, quite a bit of tab here at the bottom. And every time I had to scroll and look for things, it was, I was losing time or seconds and it adds up. And then each, each unit, rental unit had its own spreadsheet, expense spreadsheet. So every time I had to input some, I had to scroll back and forth. And as you, as you can see that actually it's very time consuming and adds up and I had going up to me up to 15 expense report just for this spreadsheet I have maintenance tab and it goes on you can see here home bill and rebates tab but this was my old spreadsheet and it took it took um, years for me to get to course where I was at with this spreadsheet but I decided this year going into 2022 to actually save some more time um, look at look how to reduce and, and every every seconds adds up every little second you do adds up and free you more time to um, run your business do things that you want to do I consolidate my spreadsheets um, I simplify it I'm trying to save time um, trying to save some time instead of have to scroll down so many tabs that I have from my old with my old Excel each rental unit has its own expense report so now what I did is I I'm gonna use one row and then each row will have a category to correlate with each rental so let's say rental 10 today's day an expense here and the location was um, I went to say Home Depot on Go Road and see how once I click that it calculates my miles and minutes amount of time that it took me to get there um, and put down let's, let's, repair, let's say I went there bought some for repairs put the amount well let's change let's change the let's change to rental once and it's right next to so let's go to right here as you can see the rental one repair showed up hundred dollar how it generate everything and it, on my right everything is set up where it will pour everything over and went to one two and three so it makes it really simple let's say uh, rental let's say rental one had a rent payment okay and so on online Say online mail rent payment and say um, category is rent. I just click on that. Say thousand here, and so you see how it, it generate. It pull that information over here, and it generate a thousand. And I had a condition format where it will actually. As the more rent I get, the more it will fill up this bar here. That, that's just for visual management. 
do primary home. Let's do primary home here just to show how thing works here. How it works. Primary home. Say so today date. And let's say primary home. Okay, so let's do rental number two. Let me show you another one here. Do rental number two. Today's date. To show you how that condition format bar filled up. So you do today. Since we're we're just rent payment, we're not driving, we're online payment, it's gonna be zero. Okay. So it's rent payment. Let's put let's just throw numbers out here. So let's do uh, fifteen thousand. So you can see it fills up. Just showing you. See how that bar fills all the way up. Now you can set that bar. You can set it uh, amount your minimum and your max. I believe that's set at sixteen thousand, whatever. Um, but it's, it's a nice uh, visual management you can have set up for. And I did the same thing with the miles as the miles build up. That changes that bar also changes color. The for the formula I use, it's a little bit complicated, but I use VLOOKUP here. Let me show you here. This is the formula. As you can see, I click on it. I use category, and so that's a red. Table two is a red. It was, and the blue is the income expense. So it takes all that information, pulls over there, and that's how I I was able to do it. You know, as as I get busier, I have had to find ways to improve improve and be more efficient. This is one of the things I'm doing. So next year, going to year 2022, that I'll be able to save time and. The more time I save, the more it frees me to do other things or, or free up time for you to grow, uh, spend some time with your family, that's very important.